So now we're at the point of the development process where we want to begin thinking about the creation of a front end web application that our users may use in order to interact with the application that we've built on top of our blockchain. And so while we have our middleware in which we can uh, query information that is being posted from our smart contract set, which can be then using APIs used to show um, on the application front end, um, we have two what we call integration tools to help more easily build those APIs and do the, maybe the modifications of the data that you may need to do in order for it to show properly in your web application. So we go to integration tools in our sub menu. Let's create uh, two of our uh, integration tools. So we have our integration studio, which is an open source application. And then we have Hazura. So let's just build um, both of these out. So we're going to get our integration studio. We're gonna call this supply chain integration studio. We're gonna give it a name and we just need to give a deployment plan. Um, and so we're going to stay consistent as before. We're going to confirm that and then it's already being deployed. We don't need to have a specific integration tool for each smart contract set we may be working with. You only need uh, one um, in order to interact with any of your integration tools. Um, or with your smart contract sets. But now let's do Hazura. So we're going to say supply chain Hazura. We're going to do the same deployment plan and then we're going to click confirm. Uh, and just like all the rest, we're gonna wait just a few minutes and our deployment will be up and running so that we can interact with it. All right, so both of our integration tools are now up and running. Why does it keep doing that? All right, so now both of our integration tools are up and running. Let's check out the integration studio first. So let's click here. We'll see the normal things that uh, we see with everything else. We have our details, we have our connect. This is our API endpoint in case we want to connect with what we're building on the integration studio. Uh, and then we have our interface. And so the integration studio is an open source solution, uh, I believe built by IBM. But so how it works is you have a bunch of what they call nodes on the side here, which are basically pre-built functions. Um, and you can take these pre-built functions uh, and you can put them into the, uh, this field, sort of like a graphical interface for uh, programming, you can think of it. And then you would just connect these functions together to create a process or to create steps and maybe which your data needs to be manipulated into a certain formats that you may need for your web application. So it's a really interesting tool that's useful for a lot of different things. Um, and then if we go to examples in this tab, you can see there are a couple of pre-built things that we have already built from settlements that you can start off as an example if you want to study or if you can use directly. Um, so here, for example, a very simple function of just getting the latest block number of your blockchain and creating a message payload for that so that then you can like pool in case you want to use that as a function in your web application. Um, and then lower, we have a more complicated one for minting an NFT. We can start off by uploading an image and then it would go on and deploy that onto your blockchain. Um, and so that's how the integration studio works. And then of course, in the other tabs, you have resources where you can go to in case you need to scale and you can check the health. And then we have our logs and our deployment logs. And so if you go back to the side menu integration tools, we can go to our other integration tool, which is called Hazura. Now Hazura, you can think of as a backend as a service is kind of how they describe themselves. And similarly, you have the details tab, some information. You have the uh, connect. So this is the GraphQL endpoint for using Hazura in case you need to reference it. And then here we have our interface for interacting with Hazura. Um, and so uh, just a quick note, in case uh, you don't see it in the connect tab, you also have the admin secrets. So sometimes when you first open up the interface, you're going to have to copy the admin secrets and then input it into the interface in order to access it. Um, but what's really cool about Hazura is that similar to the integration studio, you can make 
a bunch of really neat uh, modifications to the data that you may need. So you here you have your GraphQL endpoints of maybe the smart contract set that you want to interact with. Uh, and then just like any other API, you have the um, different uh, keys and values you may be looking for. You have the GraphQL uh, user interface here at the bottom as well. Um, what's interesting is that you could turn your GraphQL API into a REST API, to REST endpoint, uh, which maybe you prefer using for integrating with your web application. If you go on to data, you can create schemas. So you can build out databases that maybe you want to uh, cache information in that you're querying from your middleware. So you can create databases there uh, to pull from. You can create actions. You can connect, create what are called remote schemas and events. You have a lot of very interesting functionality in here. We're not going to go into too much detail about this because we're going to go into a lot more detail on how to use it in uh, in the next sort of certification tracks. Um, but here we're just showing some of the basic stuff that you can do. Um, if you go into the next tab, you have GraphQL, which is just the GraphQL user interface in case you want to use it here directly in the integration tool. And then we have as well resources to scale and our logs. If you want more information about Hazura, uh, of course, you can always look it up online. There's a lot of interesting um, the documentation there online, but also in our own documentation on how to use Hazura uh, in our platform. We have a lot of information there describing some of the basic features um, and the different things that you can do with it. Uh, so those are the two integration tools. And in the next certific tra certification tracks, in the case that you choose to do them, uh, we'll go into a lot more detail on how we would use these uh, tools in order to integrate with a web application.